Every day, men and women in this great country wake up and set about building their dreams. They are the lifeblood of our land. They are the workers. And this is Workers' Prayer. Here we are once again to bless your day, to bless your life, and perhaps if you did not have a good night of sleep because you were tossing, turning, thinking about your problems, thinking about possible solutions, Bishop David, good morning, and would like to remind everyone out there that it's never easy to deal with pressure, it is never easy to deal with failure, but, you know, once you determined about changing, that's where you find the strength for a new beginning. And one of the first steps, Bishop, to, to deal with the problem, with this pressure, is to talk about it. That's why our lines are opened. We have here with us Mimi from Coffee Fontaine. We have Tiko from Nelsprate. We have Zukisa from Limpopo. We have also here Zotwa calling from Katle Hong. You can call as well. We are going to write your name in our book of prayer and pray for you. Yes, talk about your problem in our helpline. Just don't talk to those who are negative, all right? Because if you share your problems with a negative person, he is going to badly influence you. We are going to watch right now a very interesting testimony because you know what used to happen to her? Uh, insomnia, uh, it's a sleepless night, and um, you know, she wouldn't go uh, very well in her life at all. Well, anyway, just watch and let her story impact your life. Are you sick and struggling to get healthy? Do you suffer with financial problems? Are you battling to find employment? No matter the problem, we can help you. Call our helpline on 0861 330 320. That's 0861 330 320 and speak to our trained, helpful and empathetic staff to help you today. They are waiting for your call right now. My name is Nomtana Zumdungwa. Oh, my life was destroyed, totally destroyed because I suffered from depression. I was depressed in such a way, in my mind, what I know, I used to cry at night, but cry for nothing. I had no reason to cry, but I was crying. I was, I had, I had the, I had the emptiness inside of me. So my life, I spent my life trying to feel that emptiness that was inside of me. I used to try to buy expensive clothes. I thought by doing that, it will fill that emptiness that was inside of me, but it didn't help at all. <sighs> My worst moment is was on February 2005, when I was going to the Eastern Cape, that voice inside my head was so strong. It was just telling me I must throw myself out of the taxi. But the day I was alone, I could close my ears and cry. But the day it attacked me while I was in the taxi. So now I look at the lady who was sitting next to me. I said to her, do you have a juice? Because I wanted to take the tablets so that I could be stable inside the taxi. I was invited by a lady I was working with. So in the church, I was told how to use my faith. So I engaged myself in chain of prayers. I remember the chain of prayer I took, it took three months. But I was, I was there every Friday, every Friday, every Friday to be delivered. Oh, my life, my life today is blessed. Today, there's no more empty void. I don't need expensive clothes to be happy. I don't need nothing, nothing. Because today I'm the woman of God. I can say I'm the woman of God. I am happy, happily married. I don't cry at night. I'm free. God has answered me. Winning is easy in a material world. Being beautiful and successful is rewarding and engaging on many levels. Having everything is easy for those who have confidence and self-belief, and it can be contagious. Fame, money, and all the trappings of modern financial life can fill you up to a certain point and no further. Do you have everything? Success, fame, power, 
but still feel like something is missing. The internal journey is the only way to unlock true spiritual balance and happiness. Never thirst for anything again. Nothing is impossible. Jesus, take me to the higher ground. Our services run daily at 6, 7, 30, 10, 12, 3 and 5. See you there today for a revolution in your spiritual life. Do you feel run down, lost, without hope? Do not despair, because your life can change. Come to one of the Universal Church's services to help you gain strength and belief in a new and exciting way of being. Join us at any one of our churches nationwide. Our services run at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 a.m., 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. Change your life for the better today. I'm holding right now my glass of water. We're going to talk to God on your behalf. Do the same. Stop what you're doing right now. And, well, come on, that's going to take just two minutes, not more than that. So, just stop. Have your glass of water at hand. And you are going to ask God for wisdom and orientation in order to face the challenges that you have uh, perhaps you sort out today. Where you work, maybe there is a lot of pressure and you need help to cope with it. Well, God is with you. Let us talk to Him right now. Often we are faced with various kinds of problems in our lives and we lose the direction of how to overcome them. So why not pray and ask God's direction? Now prepare your glass of water because it is time for a moment of prayer. Let's talk with God. Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, we enter in your presence in this moment and presenting this glass of water, we ask on behalf of the workers of South Africa, those who are unemployed, perhaps living out of a temporary job. Just a few hours of work here and a few hours of work there, it's not being enough for this person to have a consistent income to provide for the family, bring education, and uh, perhaps medical support. Lord, I bless this person right now to start a new life. Yes, my Lord, a new life has to start in this very moment. I bless those who are under pressure, those who are perhaps going to work every day, heavy laden and so worried, so actually depressed on account of a, a persecution that's going on in his working place, perhaps his slandering, uh, false accusations, there will be a hearing today. This person is very tense, but where there is light, there is no darkness. I determined that when this person drinks from this glass of water, there shall be light in his life, in her house, in their job. That's our prayer, and we do it, my Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you're living under pressure, just believe right now, God is with you, and the doors that were closed are now open. Because this power that is inside of you, which is your faith, is the key to open this door. Believe that no one will close what God has opened for you. Go and be blessed. Enjoy your day. God bless you. Tomorrow we're going to be back with one more worker's prayer to bless your work, to bless your day. Until tomorrow, bye-bye. Every day, men and women in this great country wake up and set about building their dreams. They are the lifeblood of our land. They are the workers, and this is Workers' Prayer.